let me start off by showing you some magic. I have a data frame in hand. I want to ask questions to the data frame using my language. I don't want to enter text. I don't want to enter anything. I just want to ask questions using my voice. So let me ask the first question to the database. Who has the best average? Amazing, isn't it? I've created a mini version of Google Assistant using Hugging Face. The only thing that I've used is Hugging Face and Gradio in the entire activity. If you want to create an interface that I have created right now using very little lines of code, then watch the entire video to learn every fine aspect of how I've created this entire solution. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. As I've already mentioned, the first thing that we'll require is Gradio. So let me go forward and install it by the command pip install minus q Gradio. The minus q stands for a quiet installation. So this piece is up and running. Now let me go forward and import the necessary modules. So these are some of the packages that I would be needing in the entire exercise. So let me go forward and import these necessary modules. Did you notice something? I have not used the transformers library at all. How do I plan to use Hugging Faces model? Well, here is where you would require Hugging Faces API. Let me show you how you can get access to the Hugging Faces API. So let me switch screens. In order for you to get the API access, all you have to do is go to Hugging Face, create an account. I've basically created a free account that is the contributor access, wherein I can try out the inference APIs on a CPU where there is a certain limit to how many requests I can send. I also get community support as well. If you have major requirements, then you can go in for the pro plan, the other plans as well. I'm using the free version, so I want to show you the power of free version itself. Now, once you have created a free account, all you have to do is you have to go to settings. So I'll go to settings. You have to go to access tokens and create a new token. I have already created a token. The token generally starts with HF and some characters follow after that. So you basically have to use that when you make a post request. I'll kind of guide you in terms of how you should do it. But net net, this is essentially what you have to do. If this idea is clear, let's now go forward and look at the Google Collab screen again. Now I'll show you how you can basically use the Hugging Face API key. You would basically receive a text which you can directly save into this variable called as API token. And since I don't want to disclose my API key to everyone, I'm creating a simple JSON file, which basically has a key value pair. The key name is API underscore key. And the value is essentially the actual hugging face key that you would have received once you've created a token. I've already loaded two files in my Google Collab session. The first file is hf underscore secret underscore key dot json, which contains my API key. And the second file is data dot csv, which I'll talk about in a bit. So let me go forward and quickly run these two cells. So now I have the secret key in a variable called as API underscore token. So I'll go forward. So now I've defined some endpoints. Now you might wonder what these endpoints are. Wait, let me take you through the detailed parameters that exist on Hugging Faces API interface. So let me go there. So I'm planning to basically use two models. One model is for automatic speech recognition, that is ASR model. The other model that I want to use is once the question is detected using speech, I want to then use a basic question answer model 
so the first is asr so let me search for asr so this is an automatic speech recognition task and here i have some sample code that is given to me in terms of how i have to query this basic api which is mentioned here so i have the api url here which also mentions the model that i have to use so basically this is the url these are the headers that i have to pass in given i have to pass in an audio file that is what is mentioned here so this is the structure that you will have to understand in terms of using the hugging face api the other model that i want to use is basically question answering system so i'll say question so table question answering task is what i want to do next so here the type of request is totally different here you have headers you have a different url altogether here in the query section if you look at the query as well you will have data you have response and the other things which i'll kind of take you through but the query here you have to pass in the table as a dictionary where every column is basically a dictionary and the values of the columns are basically a list if this idea is clear to you let's move back to the coding section so i've basically created two api urls the first is for asr the other is for the qna system that i want to implement so let me select the cell and run it let me define headers given that headers are constant so i'll kind of define headers as well now i'll create my two query functions the basic structure of the query function is still the same the ones that are mentioned on the hugging faces website if you look at this function clearly it's basically a query to the table question answering model wherein now i am passing the question answering api url here and everything else is essentially the same so this function that you essentially see here is basically the same as this function how we pass in the data is where the next function would come into picture so let me quickly run this cell so that i am able to import this function in memory now comes our main function which is the asr_query one thing to keep in mind here is i want the input to come in through the gradio interface so gradio interface gives you a possibility of inputting audio through a microphone directly which is what i've done here so gradio would give you an audio file which you can separate into sampling rate and data i want the data to be saved in a wav file with a sampling rate of 44.1 kilohertz so that is what i've done here so this piece of code is whatever microphone audio i receive i save it into a temporary wav file or an audio file this audio file is something that i read again and i save it into a variable called as data this piece of data is something that i attach to the request module and send out a post request to the asr api url and then i get the response if the asr module works correctly then i would have everything stored into the variable output and output text is where the actual text would be there for that particular audio file this is something that i take in as a query because that is something that i want to query the database on so that is what i have here then i create a new variable called as data wherein now i call the question answering api query i pass in the input wherein the query comes in from this particular table query so whatever question i am asking has been automatically transcribed into text using the asr api that is something that i pass in as query now if you remember the input that i had to pass in for a data frame was essentially a dictionary where the columns were keys and the values or the column values were essentially the list values which is something that is achieved using table dot to underscore dict and i pass in the value list now once i query the question answering api if everything goes well i would have a response and inside the response i would have a key known as answer so this is something that i have and i return three values here i return table table query and result i want to look at the table in the output i also want to look at the table query just to identify if the asr module is doing the right job or not and finally i have the result to the question that i have asked so let me go forward and import this particular function now 
Now I have to load the data file as well. So let me go forward and read the data.csv file into a variable called as table. And this is how my table looks like. So I've caught hold of all the top performing cricketers in one day international cricket. So this is a small table that I've considered. In order to query this database, I'll be using my voice. Now the only thing that we'll have to do before we start the interface is we'll have to convert this particular table into a string type table. So let me go forward and run this cell. So the way you define this interface is as simple as two lines. I call the interface function from the Gradio library. I pass in the function, the main function is still the ASR function which internally calls the question answering system API. The input is what I define here which is microphone. I have the outputs defined as data frame wherein I want to show the table. The actual question decoded by the ASR API and the final output of the question answering system. Finally, I call the launch function. So let me go forward and run the cell. So now if you're running it on Google Collab, microphone may or may not be accessible. So I'll open a new URL, which is basically the public URL. So let me click on this. So this is our interface and I can ask questions about our data. Who has the best average? So this is the data frame or this is the table that I have. So this is the ASR output and this is the output from the question answering system. So isn't this amazing? I've basically queried my tabular data using speech, just speech. I can also add a layer to the output by converting this text into audio and then giving it out to the end user. So yes, essentially this is something that I wanted to show you today. And I wanted to show you the power of pre-trained models that exist on Hugging Face and how you can utilize them to create some amazing applications. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please make it a point to subscribe to my channel for more such amazing application oriented videos that I create.